Hey guys, welcome back, or Bomb here, bringing you another one of our PTCGO Live videos. Today, people, today we're going to be going over the Santa Scorch VMAX deck, post rotation, of course, as I always do. Before we get into the video, remember to drop a like if you haven't already, subscribe, share all that good jazz, check out our sponsors at Guardian Gaming, remember code or Bomb gets you 10% off everything you purchase, and answer the comment question today for a chance to win a couple of Darkness of Blaze codes, thanks to our lovely sponsors at Guardian Gaming. Today is going to be, um, do you think Santa Scorch is BDIF? Because... After this video, I think that the Scorch is going to be BDI of post rotation. It's so strong. Definitely up there with Eternus. I, I, I want to play more matchups versus Eternus to see if I consistently beat it. But this deck has such a good matchup versus pretty much everything. It snowballs out of control. It's so good. So we're going to go over the deck. And yeah, let's go ahead and go over it. So we got a 4 4 line of Sunday Scorch because consistency is important. Um, I'm playing the. The Radiating Heat is good, 20 energies, discards an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's really good versus Eternatus and other decks that have like that slow energy attachment game going for them. So you can actually disrupt their Eternatus from attacking you turn two most of the time, unless of course you go, s well yeah, yeah, unless they go second and they attach an extra energy from their hand using their first attack, which actually doesn't happen as often as you think. Burning Train being 180 damage is actually not is actually pretty useful because even if you don't find your VMAX, you can still knock out the likes of Crobats and the Dene for four energies, which is relatively easy to do, uh, especially if you're going first and then you, yeah, the time you attack, you should have four energies attached. So especially since we play at Nine Tails in here, I'm playing a three-two line because I really want to find Vulpix quickly. It also adds on. It really it also increases our Pokemon card line, which is strong whenever we're playing cards like Pokemon Communication. Um, oh, I should probably talk about the VMAX. Uh, 320 HP. Three your tree cost G max sensor for no 40 damage plus one more damage each fire energy attached to it it's strong because it's a two energy attack so even if you don't get the welder which is the cool thing about this deck is that this deck does not rely on landing welder every turn which is huge for a welder deck but anyways um, you can hit that 120 just for two energies which is not bad that two it kills a lot of things and also sets up most attacks for the following turn because this attack accelerates energy from the discard pile to this Pokemon uh, after damage calculation. So once you do the damage, once damage calculation is done, then you can attach a fire energy from your discard pile to the Sensor Scorch. So you attack for two energies, you have three energies the following turn. Even if you only do a manual attachment, you're doing 120 for damage, and then the next turn you're doing 200 damage. So that's 320. That knocks out most tag teams. If you do land a welder, you get to knock out pretty much every tag team. So uh, Sensor Scorch is ridiculous. It snowballs out of control and also it, once again, you don't have to land Welder every turn, which means that you can play at a pretty comfortable pace, even if you whiff your Welders. Uh, I'm still playing the four, the, the one Crobat to the Dene's, like I've been doing in all of my decks so far, that don't play like Peers or whatever. One Heatran, because it's easy to get a bunch of energies on the board between Welder and, X4, of course, accelerating yourself with the Center Inferno. Um, you can easily hit those high numbers. Like, I think you need seven Oko Turnitus, which you can do while also being a... Uh, two prizer instead of a three prizer and we're playing two baby volks i'm playing two baby volks instead of a higher number because we have nine tails so worst case scenario we run into a decidueye matchup we still have other attackers in the nine tails as well um, and of course if you go second flare starter can set up a bunch of energies on your born board and then high heat blast can knock out things like uh um what's it called uh Zacian and whatnot while also being just a non-GX attacker, 110 damage is not bad. We're playing Welder, so with Welder comes Eldegoss in most cases, and that's it. We're playing 20 Pokemon, so that means we should be able to find Pokemon a lot, uh, pretty often with uh, Pokecom. If I feel like I need to find even more Pokemon, because we're playing 20, like one third of our deck, we can easily through squeeze some Great Balls. I'm not playing Great Balls though, because I am playing Ninetales and no boss. First of all, Ninetales is amazing. Uh, I can't stress enough how good it is in this deck because Ninetales gets you uh, win so many matchups unfairly uh, because they have this big old sense of scorch that you have to deal with that's snowballing out of control because it's accelerating energies onto itself. So Ninetales is almost never going to be targeted because this thing keeps snowballing. So <laughs> and then Ninetales can do things like constantly knock out uh, Crobats. So in like a lot of matchups, I, in fact, usually when I play against Eternatus, I almost never attack the Eternatus. I just knock out three of their Crobats for a game. And it's just that you have a free boss pretty much the entire game. It's so strong. So we are playing three Crystals and three uh, Giant Hearths in this deck. And then everything else is just kind of like consistency stuff. We're playing four Poking Gears, um, 4 4 Ball Search, only 3 Switch. You can increase the Switch count if you want, but I had to make cuts somewhere and Switch felt like the first cut to make. Uh, 2 Marnies in this deck, because once again, we don't have to play Welder every turn, so I like having Marnie as an extra draw supporter. Some people play Research, some people don't play the Marnies at all and just play like 
I don't know, like Jirachis or something like that. I don't like Jirachis because Jirachis mean you have to play scoop up net and um, switches to be consistent or you have to play Bird Keeper and I just don't like Bird Keeper. So I'm just going no Jirachis in this build because I just don't have the deck space to play Jirachi. I mean, if you want to cut out the Poke Gear and play, was that, four nets, take out the Marnies, play two Jirachis, I don't know, maybe take out one energy and put in a fourth switch, then I guess you can do it. But I just don't feel like that's been super necessary in my build and I like having access to Marnie. And once again, you don't have to land Welder every turn, so you don't have to worry about playing those cards like Marnie. The only thing that is nice is just having a draw supporter pretty much all the time, but it's just not necessary. You play the, the Dene's, Crobats, and you have like these six right here and 13 energies to round things out. 13 energies feels like a good enough number. Um, with the stadium at least but yeah that's gonna be the deck profile guys we're gonna go ahead and hop into the games the games are ridiculous i'm pretty sure we go undefeated but that might be spoilers so ignore that and hope you enjoy the video oh okay we'll play sound scorch i actually have built the deck built already so we'll just get started um he got really like my brother is just like Ugh, i help you all the time and he's like streaming but he doesn't want anybody to know so uh uh, he didn't help, so I was like, I'll go help my dad. And I did. And I, he got all upset because of uh, blah, 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 you know, life stuff. He's like, why don't you have a better job? You know, blah, 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 the bird. I want to play Decidueye. I was actually thinking about building and streaming Decidueye today. But then because, like, I'm only doing post-rotation stuff, I'm not too sure, like, if I'm going to have a lot of fun streaming Decidueye today. <laughs> Sounds like I got outplayed. You're right. I did get outplayed. <laughs> But you know, it be what it be, it do what it do. Dude, Pat, I gotta say, I gotta say thank you, dude. Uh, because uh, for the first time in f actual forever, I finally got paid by uh, Twitch. So that felt pretty good. Well, I don't know what to discard here. This will attach, and I don't know what I want to do. I want to play another Pokemon. I haven't got paid by Twitch in like literal, like, like I feel like it's been almost a year now. Because I haven't been streaming as much for a long time, so it's not like it's anybody's fault or anything like that. But like, it feels good. It feels good. Like, it feels good to actually have money. Because like, I haven't had money in a long time. Dude, I don't know what to discard here. I can discard a V Max, I guess. But everything else feels kind of important. Uh, kind of want to play Crobat. Uh, just to draw more cards. But like, everything in my car hand is good. What's up, Ember? Cinemax doing, oh yeah, Cinemax has been doing great for us. Let's go ahead and grab the Dene and... I don't want to do that, actually. We're going to draw a few cards, and we don't need that many energies anyways. I think I'm just going to grab Wolpix and pass. Cinemax was doing super great yesterday. Uh, and uh, what was doing really good? Well, um, Weldermans was doing super good. Uh, Senescorch was doing super good. But you know, these are the more competitive decks that I never play. Oh shoot. All right, well I'm glad I grabbed uh, this and I don't think I'm gonna get attacked turn one. What I'm not glad about is uh, the fact that I'm playing against this deck, but I think we'll be all right. If I can top deck an energy or something, that'd be super ideal because if I, I can knock out the Crobat because I don't think he's gonna move this Crobat out of the active. Because uh, my game plan in this matchup is usually just knock out three Crobats and call it a day because uh, nine tails can pull up anything. But now I just need to draw really well off this welder. Because it's going to be kind of awkward otherwise. But good, I'm playing against more uh, Eternus, which is what I want to do. And hopefully I'll have Eternus by the end of this week. Uh, Gumball, as always, straight up MVP. Uh, got me pretty much every card I needed for like competitive decks or videos on the decks I'm interested in making videos on. Um, except for it turned to stuff because that stuff is ridiculously expensive right now, so we're waiting on that. But uh, we have I have all the Vicavolts, Salamence, Scent of Scorches, and Deciduize. Um, I think that's pretty much it as far as stuff I'm interested in. Uh, everything else I can get later with time. Uh, eventually, I'll have more codes and be able to trade for stuff that I need. Power Plant is awkward, which means I can't use the Dene to draw out of this. I mean, Crobat still exists, but it's not ideal. Right. Oh, but that helps a lot. That helps actually a super ton right now. Because I can get more energies and hopefully draw out of this. I'm considering using Poke Gear now just to thin my deck. So I can draw better off the welder. Oh well. Hopefully it hasn't mattered too much. 
I hope that I can top deck an energy too. No energy. Pokecom doesn't. I mean, forty. I mean, I'm not taking a knockout here, so it almost feels worth digging a bit with Crobat. But Crobat is only going to get me like four cards. Oh, I mean, I can use the Dene. That's right. It feels almost worth using the Dene, but this is guaranteed damage. But my hand kind of sucks, and I would like a better hand. Let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, yeah, I'm still short. I'm gonna go for it, because if I don't get that early game lead, which this deck can usually do pretty well, I'm gonna feel kind of disappointed. I could also just, like... I have a lot of options here. I have a lot of outs, is what I'm trying to say. So we're just gonna go for it. Okay, it's not too bad. Get one of you down, one of you down. Uh, we can crowbat the rest of his hand. Uh, how much damage? We hit 180 anyway, so worst case scenario, we just attack with the Santa Scorch. If I grab Welder, I'm going to keep it. Okay, that's fine. We still have access to Eldegoss, so we'll be able to get a Welder when we need to. Uh, speaking of which, we get the knockout here, and I just have to grab another Santa Scorch. It's not super ideal, but, you know, it gets the job done. Let's dump you. Like I said, the game plan here is literally knockout. This is probably better, honestly. Well, actually, we're not. We're gonna get Oko next turn, so it's not the best, but it's not a bad turn either. We want to take three Crobat knockouts, so <clears throat> especially since we're not gonna be able to like bump anything up this turn, uh, which means we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to two kill one of the Eternatuses and then knock out Azuzu Skin for game. Uh, Azuzu Skin could be knocked out with the likes of Nine Tails as well. What's up, Levi? Hello, people in the chat. Sorry, I'm just focusing because it's an actual matchup. Uh, okay. What happened in the chat? SMH Warrior, what's going on? I got two bats off of 30 packs. I got two pats out of 100 packs. <laughs> to be fair, it was like 98. <laughs> Your stadium next turn, double attack, double attach. Well, I didn't want to wait till next turn. I wanted to attack this turn. Is Extinguished Illumination supposed to be Darkness Ablaze? It is the Antonin of Darkness Ablaze. <laughs> I'm glad you got it, though. <laughs> I'm doing all right, Levi. I was just trying to think of a clever stream title, and I couldn't think of one, so I was like, all right, what's the opposite of Darkness Ablaze? Uh, and those are the words that came to mind. Oh, this sucks, actually. Yeah, it's not so great now. Ugh. Ugh. See if we can top deck out of this. Otherwise, we are in not that best of good of a position. We need either a welder or there we go. I thought it was an Anson or synonym. Love the creativity. Thank you. It's, it took me like about an hour to figure out that name. <laughs> I wish I was kidding. It took me forever to think of that name. All right. So how do we win this game? I think we're turned behind now. I think we're really behind now. Yikes. Uh, I can sack off this, and then he has to knock out a Z, Z for game. It's actually not too bad. Uh, unless we top deck. I can get a Quick Ball or an Eldegoss. That's not a good top deck, but you know, it's something, I guess. Can I? No, we still need a lot of work. All right, let me just dump that. Two. I could pull something up. Then he just gets that retreat energy, so it almost feels worthless. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that. If I can get enough energies on the board, I can just blow up a uh, blow up one of these things too. I need seven energies on board. It's not too hard. I've been doing pretty good. Yeah, I think you were telling me about that the other day. If you want to post your list, feel free to just post on Discord. Um, we have a we have a channel where you can post uh you can post stuff like that. Bro, this thing is so scary. 
If he gets five more pings on it, he can just Oko it. Oh, dang. He's going to hit me first. That's really bad. <laughs> Ooh, boy. All right. <sighs> this matchup is usually so much easier. Best case scenario, we'd get ourselves a bunch of draw cards. Actually, you know what we could do? Well, he's going to hit us, though. Um, I want to take a knockout this turn, so we need, we just need to top deck something really good. And then that really good card needs to go a long way. <clears throat> Not really good. Uh, we can hit him first, I guess. Should, uh... Well, if this goes down, though, I'm just gonna lose. Yeah, I can't win this game. That was an unfortunate Marnie on our end. Do I play Ace Arola? Why should I play Ace Arola? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Ace Arola has been gone for a while. Gotta take time for the important stuff. Oh yeah, of course, of course, of course. All right, we've lost. Our first loss was Center Scorch. I still think I made the right play with the whole like necking out the Crobat, uh, but maybe, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I think I made the right play, but you know, probably didn't. <laughs> Opening hand's great though. Uh, we're losing, we're losing a welder, but we get to dig. Get a bunch of Pokemon on board. Lose two switches though, that's not great. Alright, let's grab two Senta Scorches this time, because we actually have Pokemon we can play. Um, that's not a Senta Scorch. Alright, let's grab two of them. Okay, come on. Come on, keyboard. What's up, Mansimo? Uh, I would like to play against more Eternus. I wish I had a buddy that had Eternus. Like, ready. Uh, let's see. Good evening from North Africa. Bro, I was born in North Africa. What is up, dude? I might keep that in hand, actually. Got me the VMAX next turn, yeah. That's where I was born, bro. I was born in Morocco. North Africa, best place in the world. Oh, more Eternus. This is perfect. Why does everybody have Eternus now? Am I just like really high in the ladder? I mean, we did do like, we did get like 15 wins or something yesterday. I felt good after the Inteleon beatdown that was the day before. Oh, I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go grab my phone and close my door so people don't bother me. So, you guys wanna know? You guys wanna know something funny? You know how, like, when I streamed all the time, I would always complain? That my butt hurts because I would sit in a chair that's, that's really uncomfortable. Like, I'm talking about a desk chair, like one of those really flimsy desk chairs that I had since like probably 15 years in this house. We've had it for a long time. Uh, well, instead of buying a really expensive chair that is, uh, you know, terrible for the lumbar support, <laughs> that's just not true. Instead of buying a gamer chair like I really wanted, I got a fun substitute. <laughs> uh, I have a whole love seat, love seat, just right here on my. I wish I had my face cam on. I don't have my camera on me though. <clears throat> I would love to show you guys. I have a whole love seat, bro, an entire love seat. <laughs> because uh, well, I need to grab some bull picks immediately, but I also need to find cards. So let's grab a, let's grab Crobat. Or did Denny, I guess. Uh, I have a whole love seat because. Uh, we got new furniture in the house, so we, they, people just have random couches in their room right now. Um, debating if I want to grab the money just to dump it. 
No. I'm just gonna play this. You're from Algeria? Ooh, nice. Algeria is beautiful. Okay, we got the counter stadium. We have more energies in hand. This gets us lovely Vulpix. And we have a Marnie for next turn. Probably not the best, but it's not bad either. Okay. I kind of want to keep Volcanion in hand just in case, uh, just in case I need to get a Pokecom for Nine Tails or, uh, but, or like make a bench space for a Crobat. But here I can just G Max into Inferno, and also accelerate energies onto myself, which I don't have. Which I probably oh I never put any energies in this Crobat. I guess that's fair. Uh, I was thinking I probably should have, but if I did, I never I would not have had four energies on myself. Uh, But I'm in pretty good position here. Uh, I can I think seven energies will be enough to Oko a thing, right? Uh, four times what is three forty? Uh, what is that? Four is times there's a Marnie. Four times ten is four Hundo. Uh, nine is four sixty. Yeah, I would need eight energies. Yeah, I would need eight energy, so I can't do it next turn. So we'll just try to knock out. We'll see what we can do. I mean, we get a welder here, which is excellent. Um, but I think I'm going to use this welder to set up another dude back here. I would like to hit this. I would like to hit a crowbat, but unfortunately, we are not in the best situation. All right, let's go wrap welder. Let's put in... Do I want to put energy in the discard pile? I guess I don't really want to. Let's just dump the giant hearth. <clears throat> yep, let's do this for now. Uh, I guess that's good for next turn. No nine tails yet, which is fine. This is good. I guess we just pull up a crowbat for game. After we hit this. Twice. All right. I late to the stream, but skim through it for the beginning. Gonna test Salmon's now. Hey, Salmon's was a lot of fun. What's up, Mamma? Nice to see you, bro. Uh, we did the Salmon stream yesterday, if you're interested. Actually, the stream's not up. It's up on Twitch, though, if you want to go watch it on Twitch. Uh, I take down the streams on YouTube, because streaming stream videos on YouTube are bad for the, for channel health. There's a Marnie, which is fine. I love Welder. I love uh, Giant Hearth into Marnie plays, because like you know that you're just putting energies in the bottom, so who cares? This is actually excellent for us. We get nine tails. We can attach an energy, dump some energies, and attack this thing for knockout. <clears throat> He's gonna have to attack us this turn, right? Oh, well, we also need to find a Santa Scorch. I just realized that. Uh, that's really bad, actually. <laughs> that's actually really bad for us. Uh, maybe we'll be able to attack with a Heatran this turn. I like Salamence. I think Salamence is cool. It's it's definitely different. Um, I play Welderments because like. Even though Sent like I hear this argument a lot. We talked about this on stream yesterday too. Even though Sent Scorch is the better Welder deck, quote unquote, um, um, Mens is probably the best playing Welder. If that makes sense. <coughs> Alright, I would like to attack with a Heatran this turn if I can. But to be safe, we'll do this. And oh, there's the VMAX. Excellent top deck. Nine tails. We can dump an energy here. I guess I shouldn't have done that yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I did that right away. Because I'm just going to Marnie. <laughs> uh, actually, this this might be good. Let's see. One, two, three. If I, this is five. And then five, five can lead to eight if I get a welder next turn, right? So if I attach right now, I attack next turn, that gives me five energies. And then I double welder into a manual attachment for knockout. That's pretty good. I'm going to do that. I'm going to try to do that at least. We'll see. So far, not so great. How many energies are down here right now? Oh, too many. Okay. Um... Going to attempt. We've taken three prizes here, so we should have a good amount of cards coming our way. 
Hopefully one of them can lead us to a welder. Pokecom is good, because that can get us to Dene. Um, we have not seen a Dene yet, so that can actually be pretty useful. We need to get three energies too, though. Actually, we only need two now, uh, which what Giant Hearth is for. Marnie is fine, because we don't have the Dene in hand, or too many good cards in our hand, including Welder. So this should be okay. Uh, but no welder yet, but still have a chance to get the Dene, which is great. Now we just have to find everything now. Okay, let me check my deck first. Let's see. Heatran can also do it with seven energies, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Seven energies. I would need a switch as well, but I don't have that, so the Dene it is. I mean, I don't really need all this fancy schmancy stuff. All I need to do is Make sure I have two energies in my deck and attack with it. Uh, <laughs> I guess if I want to be safe, but that would that felt like the more fun way. Whatever. This is why Nine Tails is good though. Pretty much always have a boss's orders ready. Boop, 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 boop. You can forfeit now, dude. Who do I want to knock out? You know what? Why are you playing this Hoopa? <laughs> Here's a question for you. Why are you playing that Hoopa? Uh, what decks do you think will be the best post rotation? Uh, I think top three, top two decks are going to be Eternatus and Santa Scorch. I think hands down. Uh, ADPZ, I'm still questionable. I don't think it's as good as people think it is, but it's definitely going to be at the very least like tier 1.5. <laughs> uh, that's about it though. Out of all the dark Splits, cards just hit me different. I love, I love, um, I, I, always, I thought Silence was going to be like a really underrated card. Uh, in testing, it's like, okay, it's just like another VMAX deck. It's a, it's, it's like, it, it's got, it's got like all the fire stuff, but without uh, too much of the fire benefit. And Powerful Energy doesn't fix too much math. Like, it can obviously fix some math against like some baby Pokemon, but against VMAXs, it doesn't really help too much unless you do a lot of spreading. But spreading's hard to do. One deck I really want to try building is like a straight Salamence, like no VMAX, just like straight up Salamence build. But this hand sucks. <clears throat> it's actually not too bad, depending on what I top deck. Um, so I have this in hand already. Uh, so that can help. I think I'm just gonna attach and pass, honestly. Ooh, we're playing against this. Mm, that's pretty scary, actually. Ooh, that's pretty scary. Uh, hopefully he doesn't Oko me turn one. I mean, this is a post rotation. I don't know if it's tier one post rotation, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. I think even though a lot of decks rely on items, uh, it's, it's, it's speed and damage output is a little bit too slow, and there's a lot of decks that have their own engine, like uh. Like, if you think about things like uh, Eternatus, right? Uh, Eternatus' draw is mostly Pokemon and supporters, right? Uh, it uses items early game, but it also doesn't need to hit ridiculous numbers against Vickavolt, so it doesn't have to have a full bench to take Okos on you, while it also draws with a bunch of different ways that don't rely on items. Um, uh, Center Scorch... Uh, attaches energies from the discard pile onto itself, so it doesn't need to, like, land Welders every turn. Uh, um, ADPZ, they take one knockout on you. They take two knockouts on you, that's the game. Uh, of course, ADPZ is probably your best matchup because they rely too much on patches and like other stuff. It keeps Coco Prism because Coco Prism doesn't rotate, but it does lose Thunder Mountain. Dark's crafty. And it's not that it loses too much. I mean, like, it really only loses, like, Electro Power, which makes it a, a physical threat. Like, right now, it's just, like, an item lock threat. Uh, but what made it so good pre-everything else... Uh, no, it relies on them all turn one. Like, you have to pop off if you're going to go for item lock turn one. All right, we don't have to use Welder every turn. That's pretty good. And here we can grab Heatran, which is good as well. <clears throat> See if we can find a VMAX. Uh, should I just like grab a the Dene or something? I think I should. Because I would like to find a VMAX this turn because I'm not taking a knockout otherwise. It only relies on those th cards turn one, like Quick Ball and you know, Great Ball and stuff like that. Because like once again, it's just trying to fill up its bench. But against you, it doesn't need to do that. Against uh, Vickable, I should say. <sighs> I think I do need to grab the Dene. So I would like to get 
a V Max this turn. There we go. Let's grab another Scent of Scorch just in case. Or no, not another Scent of Scorch. Well, Canyon's probably better. Uh, and you know what? I'm actually gonna. I think I want to draw a bit more. I think I want to grab Crobat here. <laughs> Don't want to grab Crobat. I would like to play Sport this turn. Let's grab Crobat. Assuming it's not prized. Okay. Belba is also banned, yeah. Which makes your, you know, matchups against a lot of stuff a lot worse. Uh, still no supporter, but we did get another Scent of Scorch. No welder, though, but we can grab a few more energies while we're here. And I'm just going to knock this out, which is the goal in the first place. Dump that. Boop, boop. All right. <clears throat> Let me see what the chat's saying. It's getting reprinted with new text. Oh yeah, it is getting a reprint with new text. I wonder what's gonna happen with that. We don't know anything about that right now. I forgot about Bellabla getting a new text reprint. Also, if you guys are watching the stream and you guys enjoy the stream, please drop a like on the stream. You know, supports the channel and gets other people to watch the stream. Oh, should we play Flapple Sableye next? Bro, I love that deck. We lost against Azul with it. We lost against Azul playing Eternus with it. It was so embarrassing. It wasn't that embarrassing because it was Eternus. Uh, but what was even more embarrassing was that he didn't even notice who I was. I was like, hey Azul, it's me, Mr. Orbom. Nice to meet you. And he just, I got nothing. I got silenced. Even though he never reacts to anybody on stream, it still didn't feel that good. Made me sad. I don't like being sad, guys. <laughs> I'm so fragile. <laughs> What's up, Timmy? I'm doing good, my dudes. So, anyways, if you guys are watching on YouTube and you guys want to support me, uh, you can come watch on Twitch. Twitch, uh, you can follow me. We're almost 200 followers on. We're almost 1,000 followers from Twitch. We are 200 away. And if you guys want to support me uh, in a more direct way than YouTube does, you can subscribe to me on Twitch. Also, Patreon. I also have a. Uh, um, also, Patreon. I'm also sponsored by Guardian Gaming. Once again. If you guys are looking for Darkness of Blaze packs, Darkness uh, Guardian Gaming sells them right now on the channel. You can get 10% off using code Orbomb. And for every 50 codes you buy, you get an, an additional 2.5% off or something like that. Yeah. So if you buy if you buy 50 codes, you get 12.5 if you use my code. Uh, if you buy 100 codes, you get 50% off, etc., etc. I guess we're just going to hit this. I might as well hit the engine. Uh, we're going to give up three prizes if we're not careful. I wish I had more one energy attackers. If I don't have welder in hand, bro. Bro, what is this garbage, bro? I guess I just gotta deal with the fact that we get knocked out next turn. I'll grab a VMAX, just a thin, I suppose. Actually, I might be should have held on to that just to get a draw support Pokemon. But I'm here already. I'm just gonna go in. Getting two VMAXs is not safe by any means, but it's more fun. Once again, I'm not taking this game super seriously because it's a pre is a pre-rotation? No, oh, yeah, it's pre-rotation because he's playing treasures and stuff like that. This deck is actually not too bad pre-rotation. It's not great, but it's not it's not terrible. Still no welders yet. But that's fine. I'm playing Roxy Weezing Sableye? I'm not. Uh it's not a bad idea, but Flapple is way more consistent and fun. <laughs> Flapple is the king, bro. Because you can use that stadium to constantly search out Flapples. Oh, I was thinking about building Flapple boys with... Uh... Can I Oko this thing? I can Oko this thing in the back. It's probably better. We have five energies down there now. We can get those back with the with the crystal. It's not a big deal. Pokey Gear. A king. Uh, let's grab energies out of the deck first. Let's really switch. Uh, yeah. 
So I want to knock out, oh, we don't need to though. We can knock out the active, which is better because uh, the active can draw cards. And, oof, a lot of cards I did not want. Um, I guess we'll just attack with this, yeah. More energies, bro. Too many energies, dude. I wonder if we can make like a high heat blast uh, deck. <laughs> it does 110 damage at the three Kyosum stuff. With a giant cape, it's 170 HP. With those fire energies, it's 190. And we're a single prize deck. So we can hit 110 all the time. Uh, if we get the first attack off, uh oh. Um, I was gonna hit this card first, okay. Well, he needs to find another one, so hopefully he doesn't find it. Um, yeah, definitely wanna knock this out. See if we can get more welders. Nope, maybe a Marnie, although Marnie is not like super good right now. All right, welder here. Let's welder onto Ninetales. Pokecom gets us no real way to switch right now. Which means I have to manually retreat, which is not fun. We could also play the Dene and try to find a switch. Play, honestly, I would like to preserve energies. I don't have to, but I would like to. But just in case, we'll do this. Lots of crystals, lots of energies. Um, no switch though, which means we have to hard switch, which is not ideal. I'm thinking about playing Crystal uh, right now because in case he in case he marnies me, I can use a stadium to get more energies back. You think you might try? Po oh, what's up, Helio? How you doing, dude? Uh, my chat is like not doing anything for me right now. Uh, do I want to try post rotation blounds? I don't really want to. <laughs> we can try it, I guess. Alright, well now if we get Marnie we're in a bad position because of that stadium. He did play the thing though. The, the Dene. Which means if I can get a welder into a uh, Ninetales then we win the game, right? As long as he doesn't play boss right now. Okay. Now I don't even have to play boss. What do you, why would you do that? <laughs> Does he have a switch in hand? Dude. Bro. <laughs> Dude, bro. I hit 160. I, I don't know if you read the card, but it's 40 plus, not 40 times. Uh, so I can just do this and swing for game. <laughs> Come on, dude. Had a giant hand. Why did you think that was the play? Well, alright. We did not lose. So I guess that's good. 